All right, guys, full chest and shoulder day. Um, about to get into my pressing, started with incline Smith machine. I already warmed up my triceps. I did some push downs, single arm push downs with this, some chest flies to get warm. So guys, the cut is still going on. Um, I am, this morning I weighed in at 201 pounds and it is still challenging to eat. Not in the morning, because that's when I first wake up. I'm a little bit hungry in the morning, but lunch, my third meal. So I eat four times a day. The second meal is hard to eat for me still. The third meal is harder to eat. And then after the workouts, it's not really hard to eat because I worked out and I was um, intensely training. So I am hungry a little bit after. But yeah, I'm very, very excited um, to shut off more fat. I'm down to 3,000 calories a day now. Now this is, I think, a slight, slight surplus. Might be, it's... Mm, it's either a slight, slight surplus or on the uh, equivalent to main gain for me, um, maintenance level. Poof, I think my maintenance calories are from like 3,200 or let me say like 3,100 to 3,300 around there. But even 3,000 might slightly be maintaining. But um, I plan in either tomorrow or the next day, I'm going to drop my calories another 200 and then start to get into the cut like that, and then another 200 in two days. And I don't plan on going lower than like 22, 2300. So right now I'm still trying to prioritize carbs as much as possible. I had like 246 grams of carbs today. That is like, that was the most carbs I can eat in order for me to still have calories after the workout. Um, I kept my fats very low. That's what I'm going to do in this cut. My fat is like, I only had like 54 grams of fat today. And yeah, so cut goes on. I'm going to have to start rotating my foods. Like I've still been eating rice on this cut because I can eat rice. I'm not really, old. I'm not hungry all the time because rice is very dense. It's a very high calorie dense food. So that's why it's recommended on a bulk, not on cuts. But I've still been eating rice because I'm not that hungry. So just to get food down. Pretty soon, I know I'm going to have to stop eating rice or cut it down one more time. So I eat rice like two times a day still. Maybe like once a day and then start with more vegetables. And I know my carbohydrates are going to even have to go lower. But enough talking. Let's get into this workout. All right, guys. First set right here. Let's go. Boom. So I changed my mind. I did not do a drop set for the first set. I'm going to keep the weight the same here, but I'm going to do a drop set here if I get under seven, because last set I got seven. So I put a 45 and then a 10 and then a 25. Instead of having a 45 and a 35 where I'll have to get up and grab the 10 and put it on. But now all I have to do is remove the 25 on each side and do a drop set, but let's do it. Oh! 
I lowered the weight here. I'm gonna try to get a little bit more volume, but let's do it. Nine reps there, it's good. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep the weight the same here. Probably gonna have to do a drop set. If I get eight, I won't, but we'll see. Now it's just getting a little bit tired. Don't have that many times with me. Since I missed shoulders last arm day, because I do shoulders on chest day and arm day, I'm going to make this like a shoulder focus chest day. So I'm gonna do one more set of this incline press. Then I'm going to go on to shoulder presses with the Smith machine, super set with chest flies. And then after the chest flies, finish it with some shoulder flies and call it. So let's get into it. I also went a little bit lighter here, so I'm gonna try to get reps, so I don't have to do a drop set. Ugh. All right, guys, I'm moving on to some Smith Machine shoulder press, super set with decline chest flies. Let's get right into it.
All right, guys, I'm saying one more with this superset combo. Then I'm going to go on to mid chest flies, superset with shoulder flies. Let's do it. The superset is an absolute killer. My back is drenched right now. I'm soaking wet, sweating sweat, but let's go.
I'm trying to think if I should do one more. My um, shoulders are absolutely cooked. Like, my shoulders are cooked. I'm thinking my chest, my chest does feel fully pumped. Maybe I'll just do one more or a drop set for the heck of it. One more of both. All right, guys, I'm calling it. I'm not even gonna do another set of shoulders. Let's turn the head around because I don't like the shadow. Guys, I'm looking up for already pretty lean. All right, let's do a one chest and shoulder flex together. Oh! Extremely lightheaded. Absolutely fully, fully pumped to the max. I'm really looking shredded already. Whew. Looking nice and stylishened up. One side chest.
Guys, I have to say right now, I am absolutely like even more excited to cut. I am, I'm just excited to see like what I put on. I'm excited to see myself shredded, to see all my veins pop out and everything. Oh, but really good shoulder focus chest day. Shoulders are actually, or, oh sorry, misspoke. Shoulders are absolutely fully pumped. Um, they're fully fatigued. They're definitely gonna be sore for a few days. But I'm gonna start, like I said, throwing those in once in a while. Shoulder focused chest days. Like I said before, I do. I never really prioritize shoulders. Like I don't have just a shoulder day, or I never even used to do shoulder focused chest days because my shoulders are already very built. And when I do other movements, they get my shoulders. So I don't have to directly work them, but I'm going to start incorporating them more and get back into a shoulder routine. Like I said, shoulder focus chest day. And I try to do a little bit of shoulders every arm day as well, just lateral raises, but beautiful workout. I'll see you guys full back day.